Hello, my beautiful collective. If you are trying to relocate or if relocation has been on your mind, um, Spirit is telling me to create a video or to do a reading on those or for those who are searching to relocate at this current time, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to say a quick prayer. We're going to get started. Thank you, Father God, Holy Spirit, for allowing me to do a reading on those who need a message concerning relocating at this time relocating this is a timeless message so when you see this video make sure that you apply what resonate and leave the rest okay all right so let me go ahead and drop some zodiacs to see who is going to be what who serves some significance in this reading at this time who serves some significance in this reading at this time Aries, Sagittarius, Capricorn could be significant. Virgo could be significant. And these all could be Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus placements, okay? So we have Capricorn, Aries, Sagittarius, Virgo, and Pisces to serve significance in this reading today, all right? If yours didn't pop up, it's okay. Just keep tuning in for anything that resonates heavy for you, all right? What's the current energy for the collective who are seeking guidance or seeking current energies right now in regards to relocating? What's showing up for them at this time, Spirit? All right, so we have the snowflake. The snowflake here is basically saying um, that some of you guys could have been like trying to relocate or been receiving signs to relocate during the winter season, during the colder months. Okay, during the colder months, it's been you've been receiving signs about needing to relocate. You may have been seeing or watching videos on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. You might be receiving some form of confirmation, all right, through social media outlets about relocating. Um, you may have been trying to express yourself or may have been trying to communicate your desires to relocate 222 as of lately and it's been popping up very heavy and now it's here now the message is showing up now that hey you've been you've been communicating about it, you've been talking about it and now you're seeing it and the message here is saying um that spirit is hearing your desire spirit is listening spirit is paying attention and they want you to know that they're here ready to assist you along your journey okay some of you guys may have been like trying to get really settled into your space you haven't been really trying you haven't been able to really like live out all of your leases or maybe you haven't been able to really enjoy your lease to its full capacity it's always something coming up it could have been like last minute opportunities coming up or things always coming through and it feels like this time around you're looking to settle down in your next location or settle down in your next place um spirit is saying that you guys have been like um have been working really, really hard. Um, focus and determination is showing up very heavy with the honeybee. It's showing rewards, showing up for your efforts, lots of teamwork, collaborating, doing the work, staying focused, and just honestly going hard, like going hard after your goals here. We have the apple here, which talks about temptation, being on a quest for knowledge, um, you know, weighing out your risks and rewards in the situation, and trying not to let things like temporary pleasures get you like uh keep you from staying stuck in a place here we have a grenade at the bottom of the deck you might find out or may have already found out that you have to relocate or move like all of a sudden out of nowhere you might soon find out that you have to relocate or move all of a sudden okay you may have some obstacles here um things might be a little bit shocking at this current moment but i don't feel like you should worry what's showing up next for the collective who need who needs a message about what's coming up next in regards to their move right now. Okay, so the message your spirit is wanting you to take heed of is to wait. Wait for a sign from them. Wait for a sign. If you don't know exactly what to do yet, wait for a sign, okay? It says to take no action. Something might not feel like it's the right time. Maybe you're personally holding it back and trying to avoid this move too. So if you know that you need to take action, they're saying to take that action. Don't hold yourself back. But if you really truly feel like 
it's not the right time, do not get up and just move without a plan, okay? Have a plan in place and then strive, okay? Take a step-by-step -step approach here with the steps card here. It says take a step-by-step -step approach. Um, be in an energy of like not only attracting but pursuing something. Don't just go out with a blind eye. Take action on things that you know you have a clear understanding or plan about. What else is showing up here as far as messages? Um, be strategic. I mean, we got the checkerboard here. It says be strategic. Think things through. Um, there is something unfolding that may not be completely um, clear to you just yet, but they're saying to take your time, wait, look for signs, have a plan, go step by step with this. Um, think things through and be very strategic and make sure you are definitely not telling everyone what you have going on because there may be some people who may try to create unnecessary drama. There might be people who might try to deter you from moving. There might be some people, places, or things that might try to pop up all of a sudden to stop you or to prevent you. Um, you may feel conflicted at some point. You might receive some, some, some good and bad feedback about moving. So you just need to listen and pay attention to your own intuition. There's lots of stability here at the bottom of the deck with the anchor showing up, which talks about you needing to have unwavering, de unwavering dedication towards this move and understanding understand that right now you're in search of security and stability and right now you may not feel like you have that so look at the end goal and don't don't let people and their insecurities project onto you because right now you need to have a plan you need to focus on what is going to make sure you have a have have something you like to focus on as an end goal don't just be moving blindsidedly okay have an end goal here because spirit doesn't want you to feel deteriorated from doing something that you know you really want to do okay so have a strong end goal in mind and be ready for drawback from certain people if they are not really uh trying to support your goals your aspirations or anything like that yeah make sure you stay clear from those people anything else the spirit is saying that's coming forward that they want that spirit wants them to know about their move about their next move yeah so spirit is saying that like in your next move there's um there's comfort coming your way. There's a desire for a connection with your spouse. I don't know if you guys are moving for, you know, spiritual reasons, for your spouse, for work, or for just simply comfort. But there's something about you just wanting to move. Um, but, we, but with this move, you will be attracting comfort, okay? It talks about you feeling very burdened. You might have some obligations you might need to meet. You might have some things related to codependency you need to resolve. Spirit is wanting you to focus on making sure you're releasing these heavy burdens, addressing certain things head, full, head on, head forward, and they don't want you to procrastinate here. Um, start focusing on having more clarity about your move. Tune in and do some deep reflection about what it is that you want out of your next space. Have an intention moving forward on what you need because it feels like you guys are desiring something here that is within reach. But they just want you to know that there may be some blockages here you need to release and you need to do some self-reflection in order to get rid of that. And self-reflection comes with being honest about the good and the bad of things, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. All right, work and finances are showing up to be resolved here at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there are going to be some things that get that become more clear as time go on. As far as spirit animals to look out for in this reading, make sure you are looking out for. Make sure you're looking out for those condors, those big birds that you see flying in the sky. I'm going to say condors, and I'm also going to say eagles or any type of big black bird that you see in the sky. If you see a big, a big black bird, single bird in the sky by itself flying, that is your spiritual omen. And the message here says to make sure you take a step back and see the bigger picture before making any decisions or taking action, okay? So spirit is wanting you guys to make sure you look at the bigger picture of things. Make sure you are having a plan in place. Make, so there, spirit, is my, spirit might be urgently trying to tell you to really think about things first. Really look at the bigger picture of things first. Make sure you have like a clear, clear, clear knowing in place before you do anything or take any action that could keep you from like 
that can actually make you feel held back in a way, okay? They're not telling you not to move forward with this move, but they really want you to understand why you're moving and where this is going to take you next. Like, the initial, how can I say this? The initial reason why you're moving to a certain location might not be the only reason 1010 just showed up. The initial reason why you're moving might not be the only reason why you're moving. Like that initial reason, that initial reason will get you to where you need to go. But there is something else on the other side of this move that spirit is wanting you to dive into when you get there. So spirit is saying to get ready for any type of unexpected turns or get ready for any type of unexpected events that can take place and manifest itself in your life. And they want you to be ready. OK, see the bigger picture. It's more than just what you're seeing right now. OK, so that's what that's the message. Damn, that's the message. It's more than what you are seeing right now. It's, it's bigger than what you are noticing right now. Your initial reason might not be the only reason for your move, okay? Um, the next spirit animal here is a turtle. If you see a turtle, this can make sense to your situation. Spirit is saying, yeah, the spirit is saying to do whatever it takes to get grounded whenever you're feeling too fragmented. Some of you guys could be feeling very fragmented. Some of you guys might feel a split in your energy right now. Too much could be going on in your mind. Spirit is saying to slow down and actually do things to get yourself grounded because there's going to be things you need to do right now that is going to require your full attention, okay? Last but not least, a meerkat. If you see a meerkat or hear about a meerkat, spirit is saying to get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends, okay? Connect with people who can help you get to your next destination. Connect with people who are understanding of where you're headed. Do not connect with people or, or surround yourself with people who are miserable, who are unhappy, or who, are, who do not want to see you get to the next level where you're headed, okay? It says get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends. And last but not least, at the bottom of the deck, we have a honeybee. If you see a honeybee, it's also saying to let compassion and forgiveness be your top priority in this situation. Some of you guys might be trying to move or relocate because of a relationship going south. Maybe some of you guys are trying to get away from a domestic situation. Maybe some of you guys are just simply moving for a new scenery. Some of you guys are tired of the same old, same old. Some of you guys are actually trying to figure things out for yourself, right? So spirit is saying that you're, you're, you're on this journey of self-discovery and they don't want you to look back, okay? Your angel number for this reading is going to be 333 healing. This move is going to be it's going to bring great healing for you all, okay? This healing journey is not easy. It's going to be some ups and downs, some twists and turns, but there are some things that are going to take place in your life that's going to require great healing, okay? Some of you guys could be experiencing betrayal from certain people or experiencing heartbreak because of this move. And some of you guys need to continue to heal and push forward because you got the star card here. It's telling me that you guys are going to be really manifesting, really bringing things that you've been dreaming for into fruition. And they want you to be present. They want you to be present to receive. They want you to have faith that everything is going to work out. They want you to keep your hope and your faith alive. 1313 13 just showed up on the clock. And they want you to get clear, set your boundaries, know what you are doing, know what you are actively searching for, active listening, active talking, being intellectual and logical, practical about your matters that you're, that, that, that's showing up here. Nothing financial actually popped up other than the simple fact that they want you to use your intuition, have faith, and use your mind over your heart about certain matters. They want you to think with your mind and not your heart for certain things here. They want you to use your intuition, but they really want you to be very, very strategic. Think very strategic about this move and, and, and apply this to how it's going to affect you. They're not trying to steer you away. They're not trying to scare you away. They actually want you to really work hard at this and put your best foot forward in this and put the work in for this opportunity. They don't want you to just go about this and just, oh, well, it's just a move. No, this is not just any move. This is a this is a big one. This is a big one. This is something that supports your life purpose, your journey. This is going to hit you harder than the previous moves that you have, that you have experienced. Sorry. So with the Eight of Pentacles, this is hard work. This is not just walking apart. This is not something that you're just going to like um get up and do and it's just going to be easy. It's going to come with patience, perseverance, and just focus and determination. So... That is the message here, honestly. This reading is just for those who just need a message from spirit and confirmation. 
And this message should hopefully give you the motivation, the confidence that you need to kind of like, you know, apply this to wherever it see fit, okay? 333 is your angel number. Um, apply this message where it resonates. I'm going to say 888 as well. 333, 888, and 777 are some of your many angel numbers you could see along the way. So keep this in mind when you move about, when you go about your move and good luck. Congratulations on this move. And I, and I will see you on the other side. Comment down below how this resonates. And I look forward to hearing from you. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. Have a good one.